You guys ready to set your legs on fire? Hi guys. Um, I hope that everybody's staying healthy and positive right now. I know it's a pretty hard time that we're all going through with COVID, but I think we're just doing our best to try and keep each other motivated. So a couple days ago, I had asked you guys uh, on Instagram if there are any workouts that you wanted to see um, that we could do together during this time. And the replies basically said that you guys wanted to see, it was kind of a tie between grip strength workouts and um, exercises to boost a pill running performance. So uh, I actually already shared yesterday a grip strength workout with you guys on my Instagram feed. And today I'm gonna share one for uphill running performance with you guys. Um, and it's from this book, Training for the Uphill Athlete. Um, by some of the world's best trail runners. We've got Killian Journey down here as one of the authors. Um, so yeah, let's do that together. So I've been doing this workout as part of my strength routine um, for over a year now, not just because we've been stuck inside lately. Um, it's a really good one and your glutes will burn by the end of it. You'll probably be sore after. Um, you'll think, you know, during the first and second set, oh, this is pretty easy, but wait till you get to the sixth. <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, the sweater will probably come off at some point and I like it because there's a lot of ways that you can progress this as you do the workout more and more and I've had a few people message me saying that they're just discouraged right now because um, they live in a two-bedroom apartment and they don't have a lot of space um, but the other great thing about this workout is that you need very little space. It's pretty stationary. So uh, let's begin. So here's what we're going to do. All of these exercises are body weight. There are ways that you can progress this workout as you've done it a couple times, but definitely try it at first with just body weight before you start sort of adding a little bit of weight to progress it. Um, but if you're interested, the ways that you can start to progress this workout are written um, in the description of the workout below. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is six sets. Um, of 10 reps of each of these exercises and there's four exercises so the first exercise is, is step ups the second one is front lunges the third one is jump squat sorry jump lunges and the fourth exercise is jump squats so again we're going to do 10 of each of these and um, step ups 10 per leg Second exercises, um, front lunges. So before we start this one, I just want to uh, say to you guys, especially when you're doing these single-legged exercises, to make sure that your front leg isn't collapsing inwards like this. But that's just good form. Uh, we don't want any injuries happening from this workout. So um, just make sure that it's staying in line with your nose. And if you do start adding weight to these exercises and you see it start to collapse inwards, then that's probably a sign that you have a little bit too much weight. So maybe try about 50% of that. So front lunges, here we go. Again, 10 per leg. Hey, jump lunges. Make sure again that this knee stays in line with your nose. None of this. No wobbling. Whew. Sweaty's coming off. Last exercise is jump squats. Make sure you get that bum down to 90 degrees. And again, no wobbly knees.
Make sure you guys jump as high as you can. You want to be firing quickly in between these jumps. And so in between sets, um, you guys can rest for one to two minutes, grab a drink of water. What I actually like to do if you're feeling motivated is to throw in a little bit of core. Um, so this is what I do. You can use your chin up bar and I do eight times toes to bar. Um, if you guys don't have a chin up bar, then another variation of that that you can do is V sits. <laughs> Core is always something that's good to do for runners to help prevent injury. So, and if you have trouble with V sits, another one that you can do as a slightly easier variation is just toes to sky. So lie on your back, um, put your heels pointed at the roof, and try and raise your butt and leave footprints of your shoes on the ceiling, so to speak. I don't want to see any of this. That's cheating. Your feet should go straight up and down. So try to do, if you're doing that variation, maybe 15 to 20 of them instead of 10. Um, so I'm going to do those core exercises for the first three rounds, or sorry, three sets. Um, and then I'm going to switch it up for the second three sets. And I'm going to do a plank instead. Um, on my forearms, where I'm going to punch forward. And I'll probably do that for about 45 seconds or so. Um, make sure if you're doing that, just keep your hips level when you're punching. You don't want to be wobbling from side to side like this. Keep them stationary. Stay strong in here. And if you find that hard, um, then just try and do typical plank for as long as you can manage. And if you have a really hard time even with plank, then try it on your knees like this. Make sure you don't have saggy hips. Like you don't want to see this and no butts in the air. 